Artist word connects us to the universe and connects us to the beauty that's seen through the eyes of the beholder who is the artist. And it takes us on a journey to the inspirations that got the artist to create these pieces, but also helps us to find within ourselves that space of joy, of peace and calm and connection. Napak for me is kind of a, in the cloud, it's something, you know, imaginary world because my work is about uh, the future of mankind so I'm imagining these creatures that I'm keep creating are going to replace the human beings in the end. When you look through you'll realize that uh, my work is more organic. I, I'm, I'm drawn to organic materials so even when I'm making art somehow it has to come from the environment you know and then I create something new. It's more like giving life giving life to dead materials. I visited his studio and I just went crazy. So that was my sort of first encounter with him. I wanted to do a show with him because he was really interested in sort of looking at the future of the human, but also the post-human. And that's something that's very interesting for me because um, I sort of run a speculative practice around this idea of the post-human settlement. So um, that was really my, my deep interest because I sort of experiment also between art and science. There's a lot of imagination in there. You could say it's almost sci-fi. And that, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty special. So it's, it's connecting the realities of Napak with a universe that is totally fluid from the past to the future, which is unknown, but in our imagination. The presentation is what gives life to this. The sculptures, they are amazing. To get that smooth finish on wood is really one of my challenges and to know that it's attainable and you can do so much with wood, it's enlightening. The connection and the, the interaction between the nature and the elements, the materials that these sculptures are made of, it's amazing. I loved everything. Like I even teared up when I saw it was it's just so beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. I can't even pick what's my favorite art piece. Yeah, everything yeah, is so to the point. I really like the space, it's spacious. I love space and I love white spaces. So I'm really honored to be hosted by Afriot Gallery and maybe yeah, I'm looking forward to working with them. But these exhibitions come in once in a while and it allows you to connect with a part of yourself which you don't usually get to awaken. You know, the artist within. And you ask yourself, if the artist could do this in my own career, in my own space, in my own life, in my own family, what can I do with the inspirations around me to create my own art?